Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you again and if you're new, hi, my name is Sandra and today I'm going to introduce you to another potty pan and I know I said in my last video I'm not going to do a ton of potty pans but I just had to jump in on this one. I really had to because this is the tiny pans potty pan and that is the Panda Palette for 2021. The team is so cute. So I'm just going to give you a really quick description of what tiny pan means and that is you're picking a palette that is tiny in the pans or in the gram in general and I have decided to go with both because I don't have a palette or I do have a palette that is tiny in the pans but it's too large for me to work on so I have decided to take some of the colors out and then I'm going to do a little mini trio so that is going to be my tiny pants and I think that is okay and that is doable for me because as I mentioned in my last video I am a mom now and it's really really difficult for me to do my makeup every single day because I'm not going out and I'm not going to film every single day because I just want to spend time with my girl so I'm just going to show you which product I picked and if I'm going to use some of them up, I'm going to roll something else in. So it's going to be a rolling style type of project band for me because that makes more sense. I'd rather have a few eyeshadow in and then roll something else in when I hit pan or use them up instead of having a big palette in, if you know what I mean. So. I'm just going to show you my pick and hopefully I can get somewhere with these because one of them is a neutral and the other two is kind of neutral but it goes really, really well with other eyeshadow I have in my makeup basket. I'm going to do a makeup basket every single month and I'm really, really excited about it because I just want to use the stuff I have in my collection. So that video is going up in maybe a week or so. I don't know when but I'm going to... Uh, Film it really quick later and then I'm going to uh, edit it and upload it. So, we are going to look at this. And I do have a little trio from Smashbox and then I got this. I don't have a ton in this one so I'm just going to show you this one first and then we can take the Colourpop. What is this? C palette. Jesus Christ my brain. Okay. The first one is this little smash box as I mentioned and in this one we got 1.20 gram of product so that is the whole palette. This is really really small and I think I can knock this out in no time. It looks like this. As you can see this is so cute and dirty. I'm so sorry I just used this today. I'm sorry. But as you can see, this is pretty neutral. We got a white or cream shade, then a mid-tone brown, and then a dark brown. This is going to take me no time to knock out. I think, I'm not sure, but I think I can, because as I mentioned, this is a smaller pan, and it's really, really nice. I got this on today. I got the white shade all over my lid. Then I got this mid-tone brown in my crease. And then I got this dark brown in my outer V with another eyeshadow. So I think this is doable. It's really pigmented. It's really nice. I got this maybe three years ago, I think. And these are the swatches. As you can see, they're really pigmented. So I think I can uh, work this out. I really, really like it. And this is perfect to travel with. I'm not going anywhere, but yeah. If I had to travel, I would take this one with me in a shimmer eyeshadow. That's just a perfect way to do my makeup. So this one I'm going to work on. Then we got this one. And as I mentioned, this palette is not completely full. I only got two eyeshadow in it. And that is these two. So these eyeshadow are from my Lorac Makeup Pro palette. I got it over here. Maybe I can show it to you so you can see. This is my uh, Lorac Makeup Pro palette. And this is one of the palettes I want to use up in uh, 2021. If that video is up, I'm going to leave it up in the card, or otherwise I'm going to leave it down below when it's up. But that is this palette right here. So I have decided to take these two out just to make some focus on them. And the first one is this little guy right here. This is the Cashmere Eyeshadow and this is so stunning. I don't have an inner corner highlighter, so I thought this would be perfect for that because this is a shimmer eyeshadow and it's really, really nice. It's really strong and metallic, but I really, really like it for a more dramatic look. 
and then we got this one whoopsie this one and this one is uh, khaki i think it was i can actually not remember one sec i was just figure out which shade that was khaki yeah that was khaki and that is this one right here this is a little more cool tone brown and i really, really like this pair with the glittery eyeshadow or some of the other eyeshadow i have in my makeup basket <laughs> so i think this combination is going to work really well together so i only have these two in and maybe i can uh, knock them out in no time i cannot remember the gram of the pants maybe it's done some here no 7.6 gram for the whole palette so i don't know how much that for each shade i'm going to leave it here on the screen so i can uh, tell you how much each pan is but they're not big or anything so i think i can maybe use three or four of them up in this year hopefully i can or hit pan on them i don't know what my goal for these two is if it's going to be hit pan or use them up we will see which i prefer but yeah this is my tiny pan project pan products and i'm really really excited to work on these because the Lorac Makeup Pro palette is really really old, like really old and this one is on the older side, it's not the oldest one but it's older so I just want to work on these and hopefully I can give them up as I mentioned three times now if you're doing this project please let me know down below, I would love to check your intro and your updates out and if you don't know this is a fantastic ladies collab, I totally forgot to mention that i'm going to leave the master list down below so you can check all the other ladies out that are in this project and yeah that was it for this video and i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down there i would love to have you around and then i'm going to see you in my next video bye